Welcome to Guide to Survive. The world is a big, beautiful place, full of incredible and breathtaking sights and experiences. It's also doing everything it can to kill you, and so that's where this program fits in. Before you venture into the great outdoors, you need to learn about all of the terrifying and mystical creatures that lurk in the woods, knock on your window, and hide in your toilet. With this guide, you'll learn how to identify a would-be assailant, analyze its strengths and weaknesses, and deal with it effectively. By the end of your training, you'll be ready to take on any creep or cryptid that crosses your path. So here's to you and the great adventure that lies ahead. Let's begin. Target Analysis Name J. Bafulfi Giant or Great Spider Class Cryptid Abnormally Large Arachnid Habitat Rainforests, Central Africa Primarily the Democratic Republic of the Congo Lifespan 40 plus years Strengths Superior speed and agility Adept tunnelers Strong webbing And highly toxic venom Weaknesses Firearms, melee weapons, napalm Pretty much anything you'd use to kill a spider Overall threat level 5 Behaviour the dense rainforests of the Congo are home to a great abundance of wildlife, both wondrous and dangerous. Great and small, their calls and songs ring out from the tall, ancient trees that cover the region, offering shelter for the forest's residents. However, quietly lurking beneath those grand old trees, hidden from view and lying in wait, is the Jeba Fofi, the giant spider. Living up to their namesake, these creatures are an average of four feet in length, females and males reaching three to five feet respectively. Eight legs, eight eyes, and strong mandibles adorn a large, hairy, dark brown body, which features a purple marking on their abdomens. Not the sort of thing you want to find in your bathtub. As ambush predators, the Jaber Fofi will burrow dens beneath dense trees, filling the entrance with sticks and leaves to shroud its home, the exposed roots providing both added camouflage and excellent defense for these colossal arachnids. Outside of their dens, they lace their webs from one tree to the next and across the ground, creating both a large net and a tripwire system. Potential prey will alert the Jaba Fofi of its presence by brushing against the long, winding webs. The spider will then charge out of its hiding place, chasing the prey into its net. The strength of this web is capable of restraining birds, small game, and even antelope, all of which the Jaba Fofi will feed on. Villagers local to the region know to stay well away from the Jaber Fofi. On top of having exceptional speed and agility, the mandibles of these spiders contain a highly toxic venom. Side effects of which include Inflamed swelling of the wound Becoming pale Strong chills Delirium Unconsciousness And subsequently, death if left untreated. In spite of its ferocious offensive capability, Jaber Fofi have no greater defense than your average spider, as villagers make use of common weapons such as blades in when confronting any Jaber Fofi, revealing that they are vulnerable to most forms of attack. Jaber Fofi, once finding a nest, will only venture far from their territory if, pushed out by a larger predator, they outgrow their current burrow, or are looking for a mate. Otherwise, they will make a permanent residence where they can. 
From here, these spiders will lay their eggs in safety. Oddly enough, these creatures lay eggs the same shape and size of peanuts. But they don't taste like peanuts. No. No, they do not. The shells of which are said to be a pale white and yellow complexion. Hatchlings are born a bright yellow in colour, and even upon hatching already have the Jabafofi distinctive purple abdomens. As they age, their complexions will develop into the darker brown colour of the fully grown adults. This will help them blend in with their environments more efficiently. Furthermore, these giant insects have a surprisingly long lifespan, being capable of living up to 40 plus years if left relatively undisturbed. Although, due to human encroachment into the rainforest and their habitats being destroyed, these creatures have fallen from an abundant species into a rare one within a relatively short period of time. However, while most notable in the Congo, these spiders have also allegedly been seen in other African nations, such as Cameroon and Mozambique. Therefore, we can theorize that while their population may have been reduced in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, it may be that a number of the Jabafofi have made their way across the African continent in order to find new habitats in which to survive, and quite possibly, thrive. To conclude, just when you thought spiders couldn't get any more unsettling, the Jabafofi leaps out from the darkness to redefine the term, Creepy Crawly. Strong, fast, agile and resourceful, these behemoth arachnids cleverly conceal their burrow homes, laying traps in order to make quick work of any unsuspecting prey, unfortunate enough to cross its thread. Once numerous, now few, but certainly not gone, and assuredly still just as dangerous, the Jabafofi have well earned their unnerving reputation. So, should you ever find yourself travelling the Congolese rainforest, remember to watch your step. You may find yourself suddenly entrapped by the sinister silk of the Jabafofi. And the last thing you'll hear is those long, monstrous legs thundering towards you. Stratagem. So, here's the scenario. Jar 19 requires giant spider eggs, which means you volunteered against your will to go to the Congo and retrieve some. While traversing the dense rainforest, you suddenly feel a pull across your body, holding you back. It's the webbing of the Jabafofi. While desperately removing the substance from your person, you hear the distant thudding of numerous footfall approaching. Out from under a large tree, there appears a Jabafofi. It has seen you, and now it's coming for you. Your plan of attack Firstly, Mad Dash. Just bolt for the eggs and try to get away from the spider before it gets you. Remember, it has more legs than you, so try to compensate. Secondly, Bug Spray. Utilize that Jar 19 Lab's tactical insect repellent that you should have on your person at all times. In fact, it can be used to debilitate pretty much anyone or anything. Poison is poison. Don't breathe it in. <laughs> Thirdly, fancy feet. Stomp on it. Stomp the hell out of it. If that thing gets past your foot, it's all over. So don't stop stomping on it, whatever you do. Fourthly, local amenities. Now hear me out. The locals know how to deal with these things, so maybe... Just sort of lead the Jabafofi over to the nearest people or village and let them deal with it. Problem solved. <coughs> Fifthly, delightful work. Gather up those eggs and head on home. Hopefully they, uh, 
won't hatch on your way back, eh? Pop quiz! Question number one. Will J. Bafofi change colour as they age? Answer, yes. Hatchlings will be a pale yellow-white colour, but will turn a darker brown as they age. Question number two. Is it true that J. Bafofi venom is non-fatal? Answer, no. If left untreated, J. Bafofi venom will prove fatal. Question number three. Do J. Bafofi make their nests in deep caves? Answer, no. J. Bafofi make their nests underneath trees sheltering amongst the roots and camouflaging their dens with sticks and leaves. Question number four. Can J. Bafofi only be found in the Democratic Republic of the Congo? Answer, no. While historically most prominent in the Congo, the J. Bafofi have been witnessed in other African nations, such as Mozambique and Cameroon. Question number five. Are J. Bafofi strictly ambush predators? Answer, yes. J. Bafofi will always hunt from the safety of their nests utilizing their webbing to trap their prey. If you scored zero to one, then you've gone the way of a fly caught in a web. If you scored two to three, then you might be alive, but you can't be around hairy legs anymore. And if you scored four to five, outstanding work. You're a regular Spider-Man. Woman. Whatever. Conclusion. Excellent work. I'd say you're ready to get out there and face whatever challenges plot against you. And if you're not, then don't worry. You can re-watch these survival guides as much as you like. And they're non-refundable. I'm very proud of the progress you've made and I know you're going to take the future in your stride. I've got a good feeling about you, Shelob. Good luck, and don't die! <laughs>